episode 32 in the fading light of day. It's been quite a wet day today, uh, but the sun has come out. For the end of the day, the sky is blue. Reminds me of what I think of you. <laughs> Actually, it reminds me of when I think of accelerated learning because the sky is the limit. Yesterday, we did phase one of my model of accelerated learning, which was the mind state, when you get your body relaxed. Ah. <sighs> and your mind alert, clear of distractions, and focused on what you really want to achieve, or what's in it for you, boom. Amazing things happen, they agree. Um, but there are five ways to go even faster with your learning. You know, when you get into the right mind state of theta dominant, alpha dominant, alpha theta. Um, that's a start, it's a great start. But then there are five gateways the gateways of the senses. Let me take my glasses off for a minute. You see, what you see is a gateway to the brain. What you hear is a gateway to the brain. What you touch, not allowed to really do much of that at the moment, are we? Is a gateway to learning, the brain and learning. What we smell is a gateway to learning and what we taste is a gateway to learning it's like this wonderful city the citadel of the brain with five amazing gates and here's the good news the more gates you have open the easier it is to get stuff into your brain faster and it gets even better so think about your remote for your telly it's not just about vision is it it's about freeze frame it's about color it's about black and white. I work with an amazing photographer called Alan Hunter, who is an award-winning black and white photographer. He does other photography as well, but his speciality is black and white. When I've worked with Alan, he's taught me to begin to see in black and white. And when you begin to see in black and white, you think about contrast and you think about lighting in a new way. You see the world in a new way. And that's accelerated my learning around photography. So think about all the visual things you can adjust. The brightness, the bigger, the better, the brighter, tends to make a bigger impact on the brain. Or black and white for the contrast and the mystery. It's happening up here in the field tonight. And then think about sound. Are we going to go stereo? Are we going to go surround sound? Are we going to go mono? Are we going to have a music track? Because learning to music is very, very powerful. It... Um, it's one of the most fast ways, it's not very good English, is it? One of the most rapid ways to switch on an emotional state, which is all part of that mind state of accelerated learning. So thinking about choosing music tracks to go with what you're learning is an intelligent choice of musical intelligence. I um, revised most of my O-level biology to Led Zeppelin III. And when I hear tracks from that album, even now, it was a long, long time ago when I studied biology for O-Level, I can still think, I can still see things like Bowman's capsules in the knee and the drawings I was looking at, it's amazing. The power of association through music and the sound effects. There's all sorts of things you can do to add impact to your learning through enriching the sound. And then what about touch, textures, size, weight, all these things matter and scent is the secret weapon. Imagine having a different scent for every subject you were studying. You might have a lavender base to keep you alert, and then you could blend on that. My son, my oldest son, Sam, works for Scentair, a company that specializes in using scent intelligence, neurological marketing, so that we can influence people for the better. Amazing, and then taste. You ever thought about associating different tastes with your different subject learnings? Hmm, I think uh, music te technology would be chilly. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you see, what you choose, as long as you choose it and you make it personal for you. So think about those five sense gates and then think about making them bigger, better and brighter, louder and richer with a musical soundtrack, richer in texture and weight. All these things will make a an intentional difference if you think about 
adding layers of sensory awareness to your learning strategy. And here's the bit I'm going to conclude with because I really love this. The more senses you use, the more your learning gets faster and makes sense. Do you remember some of those teachers at school who just talked at you? It's one sense. And if you're not into listening to sound, then that was nonsense for you. So the more senses you use, the more your learning will go faster and make more sense. Live long and prosper and remember love and only love will always find the answer.